race fans, welcome to Williams Grove Speedway for tonight's doubleheader featuring the 410 and URC sprint cars. Or can anybody stop number 48, Danny Dietrich? We're going to find out because, ladies and gentlemen, it is showtime at Williams Grove Speedway. Danny Dietrich going forward. He's up to fourth. Brent Marks along the inside of the racetrack, already in the second place. We got trouble in four. Two cars facing traffic in turn four with two laps down. Lawrence Chevrolet Pace Track has left the speedway and we will go green now. Marks tries the low side. Dietrich really gets a run and drives by Cannon. And Brent Marks right there at the line, but Lafferty maintains the lead. In the turn number one, Marks driving off the bottom, gets a run this time and takes the lead. Brent Marks into the lead. Watch Dietrich come after Lafferty. Dietrich through the middle on Lafferty. Danny Dietrich around the outside and into second place. Brent Marks goes to the top and Dietrich simply drives by him. Can he hold it? No, Marks back in front. Brent Marks gets away just a little bit on the back stretch. Dietrich tries the bottom in turn number four, slides in front of Marks but can't hold it. Marks back in front with four laps left. Now Marks goes back to the bottom, one and two, Dietrich on the outside, and it's close racing at the bridge. Danny Dietrich ahead at the bridge. Checkered flag in sight for Danny Dietrich. Brent Marks will finish second. Welcome back to Victory Lane. It's becoming a regular Friday night occurrence. Danny Dietrich. What's this I hear about used tires? Yeah, this is a set of tires from Lernerville the other week. Uh, we just starting in handicap uh, position, you know, and thought uh, didn't really want to bolt a new set of tires on. We had a pretty decent set back here. And uh, it's kind of a joke because every, every week we put new tires on here for feature. And uh, I think this is the first time all year we put used ones on. And, and uh, here she sits. I mean, you look good. But how did it feel? Did the tires feel like they weren't as good as new ones? They certainly looked like they were. Uh, they felt pretty good. Uh, track was really good. You know, they could move around. Um, I don't know that I was any faster than Brent, but I was able to get close enough to, to slide him there. And I, I figured he'd get me back. You can get a pretty good run going into three and off of four off the top. And uh, I figured he'd get me back, but I just wanted to just play mind games a little bit. Um, just sometimes you're better off to be second. Uh, once, uh, once I got the lead, I just had to kind of forget about that and just get back to, to, to pounding the top down there hard. You have been so good on the bottom here the last couple of weeks, and tonight just as good against the cushion. Yeah, we were pretty good on the bottom there early. That's what got us in position. Um, we got moved up a row there into the seventh and uh, got the fourth right on the start, and I knew we had a chance. Um, Brent's car was real good, and props to them. You know, they've been fast all year. Just, just uh, you know, their time's coming here soon, real soon. Um, but I got uh, to thank all my guys back here. I mean, we've been busting butt uh, race number 54, and uh, 
you know, it, it, it's been hot, it's been grueling, and uh, they're sticking with us, and we're getting ready to go to Knoxville, where it seems like the hottest time of the year. Well, <laughs> you're about the hottest driver at this time of the year. Has to be the greatest week of your career. You get a World of Outlaws win on Friday night, you win at Grandview on Tuesday, and you come back and win a good, hard race here tonight. Yeah, I mean, uh, when these guys give us a car, give me a car like they have, it, it, it doesn't make it easy, but uh, it makes my job um, a little more simplified. Um, and I, I can't, like I said, I can't thank them enough. And, uh, you know, Don Ott, Maxim, um, Pro, Wings on the Mid, they're all, uh, they're all supporting me here and getting us good products here to put on a car um, after breaks. You know, just, just can't thank them enough. Did you enjoy that one? Yeah, but it wasn't as good as last Friday night, but we love wins. I mean, we come here to win, and... It's tough, I tell you. Um, there's a lot of great race car drivers here, and you know you got to enjoy these because you never know when you're coming back. Green flag set to come out. The Leland's.com Nationals are underway. Still Wagon leads them into one. Nouse tries the low side and Mark Smith gets spun. Mark Smith takes a spin in turn number two with some contact from the rear. 25 laps are underway. Trouble on the front stretch. Trouble on the front stretch. Here we go. Green returns. Everybody trying to make it through turns one and two. Stillwagon pulls him down the back stretch. Podnet hounding Kevin Naus for second. Podnet right through the slick and takes over the second spot. Five down, 20 to go. Stillwagon goes in up top. Podnet drives it nice and straight around the bottom and takes the lead. Stillwagon changes him up on the back stretch. Hodnett slams the door going into three. Down the back stretch, Hodnett will pick up the URC victory. It will not be his first win of the year at Williams Grove, but it will be his first in URC competition for Greg Hodnett. Welcome to Victory Lane and tonight's Leland's.com URC Williams Grove Nationals, Greg Hodnett. A night like this keeps the team and the driver hopping from beginning to end. Yeah, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of extra work. Um, but, you know, Mike uh, really likes the 360s. He wants to help the URC continue to, to persevere through some hardships they've had. So he asked us if we would come out and try to, um, you know, run with them, support them. And obviously, he sponsors the race, so it's pretty important we be here. So there's somewhat of a return on his sponsorship tonight, but this race car through the middle and the bottom of the racetrack, when everybody else was kind of sliding up to the top, this thing was just driving across the middle. Yeah, we, um, we after the 410 race, we knew we had to change a lot of stuff to get it better. And uh, fortunately for us, we uh, were so bad in the 410 race that it, <laughs> it made us do some, some things on this thing to try to get it going. So we um, just fortunate to be standing up here. I want to thank, obviously, Leland's.com. For, uh, and Mike Hefner for giving us the opportunity and sponsoring this race. And also, of course, Eagle Steel, Trone Outdoor, uh, Pro Mobile, Alignments. All the guys do a great job and support us. And uh, just fortunate to be able to stand up here and, and you know, give them thanks.